okay now lesson number five advanced features in ms access uh, we are going to discuss master table concepts okay Intro introduction already we have discussed but uh, we are going to discuss in brief master table concepts okay. while creating a database right a very simple concept if we choose the data correctly on a table it automatically assigned to the correct data of the database right so uh, how will uh, perform the master uh, table in a database uh, we'll discuss the there are the following data clauses so now we have a two data clauses the first is a master da data and the second is a transaction data okay the master data concept there is a creating a database and if we choose any types of data correctly so our data our table is automatically assigned to the correct area of a database so this is a concept of the master data base okay and now if we talk about the master data so the master table is a critical component of a database master table if we create a table in a database so this is a critical component of a database and uh, in that table we create all records we store all types of records in a master table right it records the existence of all other database and their location in the master table data is rarely changed right so because you master in a master data we know don't change but in really changed okay so here we'll discuss a master data concept with a given example and it's a very simple example for you right we have a one student table and then we can perform the some operation so we can see uh, if we, you consider the class case of the student table so now we have a one table that is a student table and in, in that table there are some fields so using the some fields we can perform the master data concepts so how we'll do this uh, we'll discuss in a uh, this example now see so uh, if we can if you consider the case of a student table it contains the fields like row number name class and address etc okay so in that table we have some field uh, roll number name class and address and maybe or it is permanent data which sandal okay change where is a fee table and another is we have a fee table consists of the field like fees paid balance and due date so in the another table that is a fees table and in that table there are some fields that is a fees paid balance and due dates okay so in that table these are fields which change frequently okay so now it is considered as a transaction table and that field uh, is considered as a transaction table so the first student table that is a master table and the second is a fee table that is a transition table okay and both the master and the transaction tables are linked using the primary key and the foreign key if we use this types of concept in the database so we need to link the both the tables okay if we are using the master table so in that master table also we need to create a one primary key and if we are using the transaction table so in that transaction table also we need to create a primary key so in that case the both master and the transaction tables are linked using the primary key and a foreign key okay so now again we can see the table that is a student table and in that table we have some field that is a roll number name class address and sometimes you phone number okay so now we have a one table that is a student table and this is a master table right and now this is a fees table that and in that fees table consisting of fields a roll number fees paid balance and due date okay so and then now we can see this is a master table and this is our transaction table and indicating is a trans transaction table because in the master table there is a one common field that is a roll number and in the fees table also there is a one common field there is a no number roll number so we can say the roll number is a primary key okay and using the primary we can do, uh, change uh, any types of information between the tables okay fine 
So uh, notice that uh, there is some important instruction for you in the master table. The data records are not added very frequently. Okay, if we do any so not added very frequently, they are not modified very often, and it's open only for reading the records. Right. So this is a way of master data concept. Okay, class. So today is a that's it. This is a master data concepts, right?